Hello everyone and welcome! As we have many new members on the channel and many beginners, I decided to make this one video in English, actually English Portuguese, so I hope that doesn't bother you. If it does, the next one will be only and solely in Portuguese. In this video, we are looking at some useful sentences that you can use at a cafe. Instead of making it a dialogue, I actually decided to give you a bunch of different examples. But if you would like to practice a role play, let me know and I can make another video in which one line would be mine as a waiter and another line would be yours as a customer. Now let's cover the vocabulary. You're at a cafe, but the waiter still hasn't seen you. If you want to grab somebody's attention, here are the sentences you may want to use. Olhe, faz favor. Olhe, faz favor. Olhe, faz favor. It's something like, excuse me. Instead of faz favor, you can also say se faz favor or por favor. Please make it sound por favor and not por favor. So let's say them all together. Olhe, faz favor. Olhe, se faz favor. Olhe, por favor. You can also say desculpe, desculpe. When we say desculpe, we drop the e sound. So we do not say desculpe, we say desculpe. Desculpe, desculpe, desculpe. Like you're just grabbing somebody's attention and telling them like, hey, I'm waiting for you. If you do not need to call a waiter, you can just greet them by saying Olá, bom dia, meaning hi, good morning. Olá, boa tarde. Hi, good afternoon. Olá, boa noite. Hi, good evening. A waiter can ask you for the order in different ways. So all these sentences that you're going to hear mean May I have your order, please? Diga faz favor. Diga faz favor. Diga faz favor. Literally, say please. It's an imperative form of the verb dizer and it's used in the third person singular meaning você. Senhor, senhora. Diga faz favor. Ou diga por favor. If there are two or more people, a waiter will say Digam faz favor. Digam faz favor. Digam faz favor. Digam faz favor. Or they can say O que é que vai ser? O que é que vai ser? O que é que vai ser? Literally, what it's gonna be. Now it's your time to order. To do that, this is what you can say. The first one we always learn is queria. Queria means I would like. You would say queria uma if a verb that follows is feminine or queria um if a verb that follows is masculine. Queria uma bica, por favor. Queria um pastel de nata, por favor. If you don't want to say queria, you can go for era. Era uma bica, por favor. Era um pastel de nata, por favor. Instead of using the verb ser in that imperfeito form, you can use it in the present as well. It's not rude, it's just a little bit less formal. É uma bica, se faz favor. É um pastel de nata, se faz favor. You can also use the verb trazer in imperfeito. Trazer means to bring. Trazia-me uma bica, faz favor. Trazia-me uma bica, faz favor. Trazia-me um pastel de nata, faz favor. Trazia-me um pastel de nata, faz favor. Now we come to something that usually English speakers avoid using because it sounds extremely rude in English and that's imperative. However, if you're in Portugal, you will notice that imperative quite a lot and you can also use it to order something. So let's use the same verb trazer, but let's use it in the third person singular meaning você. So you want to say Traga-me uma bica, por favor. Traga-me, traga-me. Traga-me uma bica, por favor. Traga-me um pastel de nata, por favor. So it's still polite, but it's imperative form. What I would not suggest you to say is traz-me. Traz-me is the same thing you're saying bring me, please, 
but trajme is the to form. So I would use that one if I always go to the same place, if I know the waiter, if they know me, if I'm a frequent customer, if I know them all, okay? Another verb that you can also use in imperativo, in imperative form, is dar. Dar means to give. So it would sound like, give me a coffee, please. Again, I know how rude it sounds in English, but you just need to understand that you cannot compare them. You can use dar in the third person singular, meaning você, so it would sound like this. Dê-me. Dê-me um café, por favor. Dê-me um pastel de nata, por favor. Once again. Dê-me um café, por favor. Dê-me um pastel de nata, por favor. Personally, I would use dar if I'm at a farmer's market and I prefer all other forms when I'm at a café. Let's imagine that you're with somebody else who doesn't speak any Portuguese. So you may want to say something like Eu queria uma bica e um pastel de nata para ela, se faz favor. So I would like a coffee and one pastel de nata for her, please. If it's a man, you would say Eu queria uma bica e um pastel de nata para ele, se faz favor. Eu queria uma bica e um pastel de nata para ele, se faz favor, for him. If you want to simplify it a little bit, you can say para mim uma bica e um pastel de nata para ele, por favor. You can also hear something like deseja mais alguma coisa? Desejam mais alguma coisa? In plural or in a singular deseja mais alguma coisa? Meaning, do you want any? Would you like anything else? If you do not want anything else, you can just say não, obrigado. Or if you're a woman, you say não, obrigada. You can also say por agora não, obrigada. Por agora não, obrigada. If I know that I won't be ordering anything else, I like to ask for the bill right away. É só a conta, se faz favor. É só a conta, se faz favor. Just the bill, please. Or era a conta, se faz favor. Era a conta, se faz favor. The last thing I wanted to cover is if the waiter is not showing up, normally you would need to signal them that you want to pay. You can just raise your hand and say, Olhe, faz favor. Olhe, faz favor. Like, excuse me. Or you can say, Olhe, queria pagar. Olhe, queria pagar. Or, a conta, por favor. A conta, por favor. If there is more than one person, a waiter may ask you, like, do you pay together or separately? If they ask you, do you pay together, they will say, a conta é junta? A conta é junta? Or, do you wish to pay separately? They'll say, a conta é separada? A conta é separada? Most often, they will ask you both in the same question. A conta é junta ou separada? A conta é junta ou separada? And you answer with the verb ser, and then you say how you would like to pay. É separada, se faz favor. É separada, se faz favor. We'd like to pay separately, please. Or, é junta, se faz favor. É junta, se faz favor. They can also ask you how would you like to pay. Como é que paga? Como é que paga com o multibanco? Or, com um cartão multibanco. Meaning with a debit card. Or, pago em dinheiro. Pago em dinheiro. Or only em dinheiro. Em dinheiro. Em dinheiro. When they bring you the bill, they can say something like, here it is, here you are, which is, cá está or aqui está, literally, here it is, or here you have it, like cá tem, or aqui tem. If you have any questions, if there is anything that I missed in this video, please let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye, adeus!